You know him when he scaled our walls, had us surrounded in the dark. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James. Right before he took my son. Do you know what he did? And in this video, let's go over some details about Dead City. So far, what we know, some of the details maybe you missed, or details that you're fuzzy on, like the timeline, for example. At the end of The Walking Dead main show, season 11, they took down Pamela from Commonwealth, and there was a one-year time jump, and we see that Ezekiel had taken Pamela's place. You know, Eugene had had a kid, so one year. But then this show is set two years after that. So however you want to look at it, the very, very end of season 11, after that little one-year time jump, the very end of season 11, two years later, Dead City's happening. A few people in the comments were a little fuzzy about what happened to Hilltop. And Maggie did say this directly in the episode. It's the same people. Same setup, just had to relocate. After you helped burn it down, if you recall that. So she blamed Negan burning it out. Of course, Commonwealth had given them supplies and started rebuilding and stuff like that. And... They were kind of living there. Uh, Herschel was playing in the sand when Daryl and Carol came and visited and stuff. So they were doing something. But the way Maggie talks, they had to abandon that location. And what's not clear yet, I'm sure we'll find out more as the series progresses. But New Babylon, is that hilltop relocated? They called it New Babylon. She did say same people, but... Is it other communities, new people? They seem to have set up laws. They have a magistrate. They have a marshal. You know, there's a lot more to this that we don't know. We don't see yet. But that's what we do know. Hilltop's no more. Maggie, all the people at Hilltop moved to or created New Babylon. We see the sign. We see the wanted poster. What it says. We heard the marshal say it in the episode when he was talking in the bar. But we see it on the sign as well. New Babylon is the capital city of the New Babylon Federation. Whatever it is, you know, like I say, they had magistrates and stuff. It doesn't look like Maggie's running the show. She's just a citizen of that community, from what it seems so far. When the three marshals come up to the river, they're following Negan and Maggie. The two got out to sweep. Uh, Armstrong told them to, and he looked at an address he had in his hands. You know, what is really going on with this guy? You know, the other two guys died. He pretty much shot the one, it seemed to me. You could say he was aiming at Negan and Miss, but what's the real motive with this guy? You know, I know he's probably working for the community looking for Negan, but it seems like he's wanting to get to New York, or he maybe has something to do there, maybe a family member, a brother. Something else is going on with this guy. We'll just have to see. I made a video about it earlier, an entire video on it, just talking about it, but... There's also the Annie theory about Annie and the kid is dead. Maybe she never even had the kid. Maybe it happened before she could even, you know, give birth. But it maybe even killed the kid as well. That's pretty gruesome and mean, you know. Uh, but it seems like Negan killed the magistrate. That's why the marshal's after him. Could it be that it has something to do with Annie's death? That's why Negan killed the guy. Negan said to Maggie, there's more to it, more to that story. So the theory is that Annie's dead, the kid's dead. The only family Negan has at the moment is Jeannie, the kid we see him with, the teenager we see him with in that episode one. And I want to add, I left it out of my other video. I was talking about how they replaced Negan's kid who would be too young for the future generation to allow it to work better, make Negan's new kid be a teenager. And that lines up with Judas age, RJ, close to RJ, you know, Gracie, you got Mo and Herschel. And one thing about Herschel is, hey, could these two, you know, Negan and Maggie never will be uh, in a relationship. You know, they can't. They just can't. Jeannie and Herschel could in the future. And did you notice uh, the bad guy, Croat? Did you notice his burned ear, burned side of his face? Was that at the hand of Negan? You know, look at Dwight. Look at what Negan did with the saviors. And did this happen to this guy by Negan's hand? And could that be one of the reasons why, you know, he wants Negan? It seems like everybody wants Negan. Maggie wanted Negan to help her. Uh, the marshal wants Negan for killing the magistrate. And Croat captured Herschel, uh, maybe enticing even Negan to come out of the shadows. Everybody wants Negan. And this is what Negan said about Croat in the episode. 
Let's just say there were a lot of psychos in my crew back then, but he always stood out as being an exceptionally insane son of a bitch. We did hear Marshall Armstrong talk about hanging people, beheading people, and what he's going to do to Negan, split him down the middle. But we did see as Maggie approached New Babylon to drop Jeannie off, we did see two people hanging. Certain crimes lead to that. Negan killed a magistrate, and I think uh, the marshal said four other people. That's beyond a hanging or beheading, Armstrong said. Maggie did ask where Annie is. There's Annie, your kid. Jenny, this here is Maggie. Maggie may not stay at the capital city directly. Maybe they still call themselves Hilltop, even. We didn't get those exact details. But we did learn Croat and some men, I guess, came and stole their grain and said we'll be back next month to get some more. And they took Herschel. She said they scaled the walls and Maggie heard the whistle. That's how she knew there was a connection to Negan and Croat. That's it. There was the crazy walker that had the rat in his mouth. That was a pretty crazy scene right there. Several crazy shots, the city, crazy scenes, walkers falling, the roaches, a lot of crazy stuff in the episode. We still got that really crazy, crazy walker we saw in one of the promos coming up. Those are just a few of the details of the episode. If you know some more, go ahead and put them in the comments or let me know what you think about these and I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.